Well, this is a big headline for all those passengers who would book tickets before news of the lockdown and then found that they didn't know how to get a refund. So the government has announced measures. Vishnu, what are they? Well, these are very important measures. This has just come in from the Director General of Civil Aviation. And there are two parts of the order. The first part is if you have paid any of the airlines in India and were supposed to travel during the first lockdown period, then you'll get your entire money back if you choose a 100% refund, no cancellation charge. And secondly, if you had paid an airline money and were supposed to travel during this second lockdown period, and if you want your money to be refunded, then within a period of three weeks, in both cases, the airline has to refund your money. The bigger picture over here is that it's all very well uh, for the government to say that the airlines need to refund money, but just the refund amount itself going forward, beyond just these couple of weeks, is something that can actually bring many of our airlines to their knees because they, at this stage, as we've been reporting, just don't have any cash. So the airlines will also be looking for a substantial scheme from the government, no details of which have been announced. So, yeah. Right, but uh, Vishnu, will it be a very high cost? Wouldn't it be more on other costs? But will the refunds be a very high cost at this point? What are estimates that airlines are giving? There are no estimates at this stage, but the airlines, when we spoke to them, said that even refunding at this stage is something we cannot consider. What we are willing to do, as far as passengers are concerned, is allow them to travel anytime they want within the next year. They were not keen, as they normally would have been in the case of cancelled flights, to immediately refund that because they need the cash immediately for their running expenses. Because remember, none of them are earning a single rupee right now. It's only cash out. Right. And if you look at various reports from the Center of Asia Pacific Aviation or even IATA reports going forward, the cancellation fees themselves uh, for flights which perhaps may have been booked even in the future because demand is going to go down, mm -hmm. is going to be substantial on these airlines and is going to be a factor which they're going to struggle to deal with.